Good morning, everyone. I am Colonel Roland L. Butler, Superintendent of the Maryland State Police. We're here this morning to talk about another tragic incident. It's unfortunate that we're here to address another act of violence on a college campus during one of the most celebrated weekends of the year for the staff, the students, and the alumni on an HBCU campus. Last night at approximately 1130, troopers from the Maryland State Police College Park Barrack were assisting Bowie State University and Prince George's County Police Department with security during their homecoming when they responded to the student, to the Center for Business and Graduate Studies for the report of a shooting. According to the preliminary investigation, two male victims were located in front of the Center for Business and Graduate Studies and were transported by ambulance to a local hospital for treatment of their injuries. At this time, it is believed that their injuries are non-life-threatening. The two victims, both 19-year-olds, are not being identified at this time. Neither of the victims were students at Bowie State University or Morgan State University. We believe there are no further threats to the campus or to the public at this point. We also believe the shooting was an isolated incident. Again, there is no threat to the public at this time. I want to commend the swift response of our first responders and law enforcement partners. Our top priority is to ensure the safety of the community and the students on this campus. Now I'd like to introduce Major Kenny Brown, who is the Assistant Bureau Chief of Criminal Investigations for the Maryland State Police to provide further details about last night's incidents. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Major Kenny Brown. That's K-E-N-Y Brown, B-R-O-W-N. I'm the Assistant Bureau Chief of the Maryland State Police Criminal Investigations Bureau. I'm gonna give you guys some preliminary details of the criminal investigation. Um, please note that the investigation is still active and ongoing. There will be a lot of details that I cannot share for the integrity of the investigation. On yesterday's date, um, officers from the Prince George's County Police Department, Bowie State University Police Department, as well as troopers from the Maryland State Police College Park Barrack was working the homecoming weekend here at Bowie State University. Uh, troopers and officers received a call of a shooting, at which point they located two victims here on campus. Criminal investigators from the Criminal Enforcement Division uh, responded and took charge of the investigation. All partners, again, from Prince George's County Police, as well as Bowie State Police Department. Preliminarily, we can tell you at this point, the two victims were transported with gunshot wounds to a local hospital. Uh, we cannot identify who those victims are at this point. It should be noted that the investigation, again, is still ongoing and active. Investigators will be on campus throughout the coming days to conduct follow-up uh, of interviews of witnesses, as well as um, interviews of uh, neighbors, as well as conduct any and all leads to apprehend and find the individuals who were responsible for this particular incident. We are asking the public, we're asking students or anyone that have possibly will have any information related to this incident to please use our tip line through the Bowie State University Police Department at 301-860-4688. Again, 301. 860-4688. We understand that some students also may have some social media video that is important. Please contact the tip line and provide that information to the Bowie State Police Department who will then, who are working jointly with my criminal investigators. Thank you very much. Good morning, I'm Amin Bro president at Bowie State University. And today I want to begin by expressing my deep sadness and the disturbance uh, that is felt across this campus community in light of the incident that happened last evening. It concluded after a week long series of wonderful festivities for our homecoming celebration. There was much joy for the celebrations we had a wonderful turnout at the, the game and across this campus, but for a week, our campus was filled 
with nothing but happiness and joy. Before I, be, I go further, I do want to acknowledge and thank profusely law enforcement that helped us to prepare for our homecoming ceremony throughout this week. There were many efforts put forward by law enforcement, local, at the state level, county level, all came together to ensure that we could enjoy our tradition of homecoming. I also want to acknowledge the outpouring of concern that I've received for our campus community since this incident last night from our elected officials, Governor Westmore, who reached out to express his deep concern, the president of the Senate, Bill Ferguson, and here on the platform, we have a member of County Council, Calvin Hawkins, and I want to acknowledge him for being here today. Our campus community is very much a peaceful community, and so this is not normal for Bowie State University. Once again, we are deeply concerned in light of these events, and therefore, we will be canceling classes tomorrow. We will be providing 24-hour counseling services to our students as our campus community begins the healing process. I don't know what the answers are, but we will be coming together once again as a campus community, and we will figure it out together. We have students who have come forward. Our student government association leadership uh, has been talking with me and our senior leaders to let us know what we need to do to help the healing process begin. So I thank you for coming out today. I thank everyone, friends of the university, who have reached out to ensure that we move forward in providing education and delivering on our mission and our promise to our citizens. And once again, thank you to all, including the University System of Maryland, our Chancellor Jay Perman, and the Board of Regents, Linda Gooden, who have also reached out. Thank you all for being here today. With that, were there any questions? Ma'am? Major? There was one weapon that was recovered. Um, we're not gonna go into many details of the uh, make, model, or caliber of that weapon as this investigation is still ongoing. Any information on the suspects right now? Any description? Uh, preliminarily, um, we do have some leads. Um, again, for the integrity of the investigation, um, we do not want to put that out to the public. I can say for the campus, again, this is an isolated incident. Um, there's no threat. We believe there's no threat to anyone on campus. Um, investigators are digitally running down every lead that they can possibly find to ensure that the people we believe are responsible are not only apprehended, but they're also prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Was uh, that area of campus particularly busy at that hour? Was, were there crowds or was it completely isolated? Uh, that, <clears throat> excuse me, that area of the campus is not a heavily traveled area, uh, but due to the festivities, there was more traffic than normal. Um, do we know more about what exactly led up to the shooting and do we know if there may have been more than one shooter? We do not know what led up to the um, actual shooting. Preliminarily, we believe that um, there was more than one shooter. Question for uh, President Bro: How does this inform um, next year's homecoming and you know public events, uh, events that you have on the campus where you can expect maybe a lot of folks from off campus to, to attend? Thank you for your question about next year. We're going to take this one day at a time. As I said, this has been. Uh, very much a, a, a disturbance. It's been the students, we're not used to this here at Bowie State University. And so we're gonna take it one day at a time. We'll assess what we need to do to ensure as we go forward uh, that we have as much safety uh, precautions in place. 
but we need to also understand that we had, uh, again, a week long, uh, just long list of activities that went about without incident. And so what we don't wanna do is to put this campus on lockdown 24 seven. We're here to provide a quality, wonderful, enriching and supportive, nurturing experience for our students. But we also have to recognize our society at large and the risk that we might face. So we'll have to walk that balance and assess that in the days to come. We're very early on um, in the investigation, so I don't want to prematurely um, answer that right now. Were they uh, alumni of the school, or did they have any relationship to Bowie State at all? They were not students um, of Bowie State University. Um, you know, it's homecoming. You know, I, I went to, to an HBCU. It draws in crowds from all over. It's a celebratory event. Um, but specifically to your question, they were not students of Bowie State University and or Morgan State University, it should be noted. Does this incident have any connection or relationship to last or this past week's events at Morgan State? We do not believe so. Um, were the victims students at any other uni nearby university? And also, can you guys kind of walk us through the alert system as to how the campus community was alerted about what happened last night? Specifically to the first part of your question, um, we do not know if they were students at um, any other campus. Specifically, we know they were not students of Bowie State University as well as Morgan State University. Let me inter introduce myself. I'm Chief Mark Cummings, Director of Public Safety here at Bowie State University. Uh, we took all of the precautions before any of these events occurred. Uh, we noticed that the crowd might have been growing large. We issued a shutdown of all vehicular traffic and pedestrian traffic. Uh, shortly after that, as the timeline said by the investigator, um, we issued the bees alert once the Shots ran out and a shelter in place and fully locked down the campus. How long was the shelter in place in effect? Uh, the shooting happened at approximately 1130 and we lifted it at uh, approximately three o'clock a.m. Um, And do we know with the uh, gun recovered, was it uh, recovered on the person of one of the victims? Was it one of the victims' guns? Do we know where that gun came from? At this time, we cannot answer that question. And just to echo the sentiments of everyone present today, an extensive amount of planning went into this homecoming event on the public safety side. Uh, the Maryland State Police, the Prince George's County Police Department, and the Bowie State Police, uh, the Bowie State University Police Department have always worked in unison to build the best package we can to protect the citizens and the students here. We've been doing that under a memorandum of understanding for over 20 years at this point. This is truly tragic, and we will build another package to make sure that people are safe and do our very best to fulfill the needs of the parents, the students, and the community. Thank you.